Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's quick unsponsored video, I am going to talk all about wet styling your natural wavy curly hair using a brush. I don't do this very often because it's a little bit more tedious than my regular styling routine. But my hair is a bit shorter now and so it won't take me that long and I would really like to make this video for you guys. I have three brushes today that are popular on social media. The first one is the Denman brush. I bought this with my own money. Um, it is a very attractive looking brush. I have used this in a video in the past and it did work well. Um, and I just, I haven't used it really since I made that video. The second brush I'm using today is by a company called The Perfect Hair Care. The only reason I have this brush is because it came in a, a little package with a microfiber towel. If you've been watching my channel or paying attention to my Instagram lately, this company, The Perfect Hair Care, makes this insanely amazing microfiber towel that I am now obsessed with. The other thing I wanted to mention about this brush is that the bristles are really flexible. So I feel like it's a little bit more gentle, but we'll see. The third brush I have in my possession is this Be Hairful brush. This was also sent to me uh, through my Instagram page by this company. And you have probably seen this on Instagram because there's a lot of curly hair influencers using this brush. This brush I will not be using today. Um, I got this through my Instagram page. This company sent me this brush in PR. And you know, it's a nice looking and feeling brush. It came in a nice box. I think that these types of brushes with these little fine bristles work amazing on dry hair. So if you were styling your dry hair, um, if you had straight to wavy hair, I really do think that this would help to create shine. I just don't think it's great for my hair type and it's probably not great for your hair type if you have the same hair type as me, but don't take my word for it. There are a lot of other influencers who like this brush. I'm just not a big fan. And again, mainly it's because of those little fine bristles, but I'm gonna be giving this away as well at the end of the video. And you know, you could give it to someone as a gift or you could try it out for yourself and let me know what you think. Before I go and wash and condition my hair, here is the before hair. It's not too bad. I mean, I could probably refresh this today. I still have some curl definition. I slept on my silk pillowcase with my hair in a pineapple. For today's video, I'm gonna be washing my hair with this Zotos Professionals All About Curls Low Leather Cleanser and using the Cantu Texture Line Conditioner. These just happen to be the shampoo and conditioner that are in my shower right now that I've been using for the last few weeks. I do tend to mix it up a little bit. So I think what I'll do today is in the description box, I'll leave a list of products that I use on a regular basis. If you want to try wet styling your hair with a brush, you could choose to either shampoo and then condition your hair before you apply your products, or you could just co-wash your hair. I'm not gonna take you guys in the shower with me today. I am very pregnant and it is very awkward for me to set the camera up in my shower in a flattering way. So I'm just gonna go and I'm going to shampoo and condition my hair. I'm gonna come back here with soaking wet hair and start the tutorial. So I'm gonna apply my products to my hair on camera and I'm gonna use the brush to style my hair on camera. Today for styling my hair, I'm using a combination of a styling cream and a gel, but you can do this with either just gel or just styling cream or a combination of mousse and gel or whatever products you find work really well for you. I'm here with my soaking wet hair and I'm just gonna pin a little bit of it up. For today's tutorial, I'm using gel and a cream, my BioTerra gel, approximately mm, that much and a tiny bit of Cantu styling cream, about a dime sized amount. Then I just mix it all together and I am using the praying hands technique to apply the product to my soaking wet hair. Normally I would do that in the shower, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm doing it on camera. And you're gonna see me do this multiple times and then scrunch it into my hair a little bit. Um, I'm using the same amount of product that I showed for the first application on approximately six sections of my hair. Now for the top sections of my hair, again, more gel, more cream, rub it together, praying hands technique. Any product I have left on my hands after I do this, I rub it on my scalp, and then I squeeze my hair up towards the top of my head to distribute some water and product at my roots. Okay, couple sections going on here. 
We got our brushes, and I'm going to start with the Denman brush. So, sections of hair approximately this big, and I'm twisting the hair around the brush, and then shaking it to create a little curl. Now, the first thing I noticed that I really liked about the Denman brush is that the brush itself is barrel shaped, and so you're going to see in this freeze frame, your hair wraps around the barrel, creating that curl. Now with the Perfect Hair Care brush, it moved a lot easier through my hair, but you can see that the paddle is very wide. And so when you move the brush through the hair, um, there just isn't enough of a twist to make the same type of curl clump. But we're gonna talk about that a bit later. So I'm gonna continue on this side with the Denman brush. So on your left, I'm using the Denman brush. And on your right, I'm using the Perfect Hair Care brush. So again, here's the Denman brush. And this is one thing I didn't like as much about the Denman brush is that it kind of got stuck in my hair and I was definitely pulling out a little bit of hair here, which I don't love. Um, but anyway, here comes the perfect hair care brush. It moves so beautifully through the hair and I didn't feel like I was breaking my hair, but no clump. So here's each side. The Denman brush side is a lot curlier than the other side, and now I'm gonna squeeze excess moisture out of my hair. Okay, diffusing time. So since Mains by Mel came on the scene, I am much better at diffusing. I always diffuse my roots first. This is so important. You're just gonna see me hovering my diffuser around my scalp and roots and some of the mid shafts of my hair, but I'm not scrunching or drying the ends. I'm actually trying not to touch my hair at all. I do lift the hair a little bit and flip my hair from side to side to create volume, but I'm not scrunching my hair. Um, and I'm drying again my roots first. Oh, costume change. Okay, more diffusing. You can tell right now my hair is about 50% dry. One thing that you're gonna notice is that my right side of my hair and my left side of my hair look pretty much the exact same, even though the right side looked a little bit stretched out when I was styling it. Oh, more diffusing. Now that my hair is almost dry, I'm gonna do the ends a little bit, but I'm almost done. Can't wait to show you guys my final results. it's getting warm in here now that like 95% of the drying is done I'm just going to take a break so I'm going to turn the camera off for about an hour um, I'm just gonna leave my hair like this I'm gonna leave it to air dry for an hour then I'm gonna come back on camera and show you guys my final results in better lighting because I'm just noticing that it's a little bit dark in here to really see the curl definition so I'll show you guys my final results I'm gonna talk about my final thoughts and I'm noticing that I have a tiny little bit of a cast on my ends. So I'll probably fluff my hair up a little bit and break up that tiny bit of a cast on camera so you guys can see it. Um, and then we'll wrap this up. I'm back and here are my final results. My hair is very curly and very defined and I do love the way that it looks. Um, I have a little tiny bit of a cast on my ends and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. And I am gonna break that up but my hair is definitely defined. I feel like the product is distributed evenly throughout my hair. Um, and overall, like I said, I'm very happy with how my hair turned out and how curly my hair looks. I'm gonna talk about what I don't like about this technique and what I did like about it, and just a little bit about my experience with the different brushes, and then I'm gonna wrap this up. What I don't like about styling my hair with a brush is that it is more tedious. So it's more tedious, and then I guess the second thing that I should mention is that I do feel like it's not as gentle on your hair as using your fingertips. You can't really tell in the tutorial part of the video, but with the Denman brush, I felt like there was a possibility of me breaking my hair. Now with the Perfect Hair Care brush, which um, I didn't like all of the elements of the brush design, but one thing I do really like about it is that the bristles are extremely flexible and gentle and it moved through my hair a little bit better. So um, again, it's a little bit more tedious and I feel like it's a little bit safer to use your fingertips. My hair doesn't look that much different than when I don't use a brush. 
So what I'm recommending to you is that you try it because I think that it works and my hair definitely looks very curly and very polished, but the technique didn't like blow me away. That being said, I never have the best technique because I'm somebody that kind of rushes through things and I just don't have the patience to take smaller sections of hair um, and be a little bit more strategic. What I did like about styling my hair using a brush is that the product is definitely very evenly distributed throughout my hair and it forced me to really take my time and make sure like the underneath parts of my hair and the back of my hair had lots of product in it. Some of the tips of my hair are a little bit crusty. Um, it's hard to tell on camera. It just looks kind of wet on the ends. So I don't usually use my hands to break up a cast. I'll use like a paper towel or a microfiber towel like this one here. And I just kind of scrunch the ends of my hair. Um, when I get impatient, I will actually do this. And for my hair texture, that doesn't make a big difference. But I would do a little bit of that and I would fluff my hair up a little bit. Overall, I'm very, very happy uh, with my hair. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. You can give it a big old thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you hopefully next week. I'm going to do a video where I twist um, all of my hair when it's soaking wet and see what that does uh, to my style. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon.